in a lot of ways, what we're doing is we're stepping out of what we've been told things are and their meaningfulness or lack thereof, essentially. How we've been taught that, I mean, you know, you've probably lived however many years you've lived, each one of you, and you know, no one's spent time talking about how significant the tear in the paper is because nobody thinks it's significant. That's, that's like a collectively held view that kind of writes off those sort of details as insignificant. So in a sense, this kind of exploration is countering that habituated tendency to overlook those kinds of the noise in the system and instead say like, oh, I'm actually gonna focus on what I think of as insignificant. It's like a game you can play and you can crack through the seeming insignificance that our descriptions are telling us and our learned habits of perceiving to realize like, this is beyond comprehension like everything else. And, and then it's like, it's almost like it's intrinsic meaningfulness, it's intrinsic beauty, it's intrinsic relevance comes alive, it's there, but now it's no longer being kind of covered over by the descriptive frameworks, which are essentially telling us that that's not meaningful. Don't bother with that. Let's go where the, where the action is, right? You know, it's like the uh, often the dramas in our heads. That's where that's come on. That's the juicy stuff. Give me the juicy stuff, you know. But meanwhile, everything is unthinkably juicy. Everything just a matter, like you say, of how it's being looked at. But one, one just, I will say one last thing here is that it's a bit, it, it's easy to hear what I'm saying and it can sound like I'm, I'm inviting you to perceive it a different way. I'm actually really inviting you to just perceive it like pure perception, just perceive it. Forget about what you think it is or don't think it is or what anybody's told you it is. Just perceive it and you may be surprised at, at just how wondrous and beautiful it will reveal itself to be. But not by like, where's the beauty in that candle? Like, I'm trying to see the beauty. It's like, just look at it just as it is. It's like, there's red. It's like, oh my God, I'm not trying to see how beautiful the red. It is fucking beautiful just looking at it, just in the way that I'm looking at, like the concrete perception, if that makes sense, with no elaboration, no need to try to turn it into something more. It already is <laughs> something more. It's already infinity. Yes, I'm essentially saying that in whatever way we, we go about doing it and discovering this other perspective of the non-hierarchical nature of what's here, we, we do discover the amazingness of it all, the absolute wonder of it all. And it, it can require a kind of remedial um, kind of perceiving that takes the form, I would say, of letting, letting ourselves linger in a sense not overlook, in, in other words, take a walk or you can do it right now and just let your gaze fall upon anything and let it just stay there. Because why would we typically wanna go somewhere else? Well, because there's something more interesting that what, where my gaze just landed on, right? There's gotta be something, we have these biases in terms of our sort of preferences or imagined things that would be better to focus attention on, all of which is fine because we all have our idiosyncratic preferences, right? And ways that we have our preferences in music, we have our preferences in what we're looking at visually, you know, we'd rather look at a beautiful sunset than a pile of garbage, let's say. But, but this is to cut through the, because that's a hierarchy, isn't it? The sunset's better than the pile of garbage. But they're both absolute reality. They're both infinity. They're both made of the cosmos, aren't they? So yeah, from one perspective, I, I probably would prefer you know, I've certainly learned to prefer the sunset being, believing the sunset to be more beautiful than the pile of garbage. But so this is a kind of like, hmm, let me, let me, no matter, it's almost like, here's one way to play the game. 
there you're walking along and wherever you let your attention wander and wherever it lands on, just stay there. Hmm. And just let yourself sort of fall into that because the whole universe is right there on, I mean, that's an expression like, I'm looking now at the shadow that my computer is making on the table. That's a doorway into infinity to look at that because it is infinity. Now, normally I would just go right past that and like get, get on to the important stuff, right? And that's what this kind of inquiry is, is endeavoring to help us cut through is that hierarchy to discover the wonder of it all. You can see why from that standpoint, it's all, it's all significant in the sense that it's here. Here it is. So just the, the, the way the light is dancing off your, your eyeglasses is like, how come it's dancing that way and not some other way? Well, it's dancing that way because that's what the creative force of the universe is generating right now in this moment. It's, it's alive now. It's not, in other words, it's, it's, it's appearing now. So in a sense, it's, it's recognizing how all of the appearance is relevant, not just certain parts of it. Exactly. Mm -hmm.